So real quick, what's up? So I'm um, here in Houston, Texas, kind of my first week here, and we're at the Frida Fest at Discovery Green Park. And this video is a little bit of what I saw over there. Hope you guys enjoy it. As you know, she was like a revolutionary and an icon at the time. The Mexican Revolution was going on um, around the time that she was in Mexico. She played a major role. She was a powerhouse of a female. Um, she was a painter, but before um, she was known for her painting and stuff. So when she was younger, she had polio and she had like health complications. When she was 18, she was hit by a bus and that left her um, paralyzed but she was still an artist. Um, and the fact that she was paralyzed, it didn't only affect her, her spine, because she had spinal injury, but she was also unable to have children. And she was infertile because it damaged her uterus. So when she um, became, began to like paint her pictures, um, and she was a well-known artist. She used to actually paint things that were super taboo, um, which was like paintings about miscarriages, which you don't paint about in those days, and, and paintings about failed uterus and spinal cord injuries. So um, it was definitely something that they were not used to or accustomed to. She was super committed to the Mexican people, the Mexican culture. She was a revolutionary. She was there to make political change. And at the same time, she's like, oh, but I'm also an artist, so how can I represent that? through my art which she did by drawing graphic graphic images that were not that were not i wouldn't say represented but like nobody did that back in the day especially as a female um she was in like born around 1920 so they had less rights than we do now we barely have equal rights now so yeah she was definitely an icon and just like an overall badass woman who was like no i'm gonna stand for my people and yeah, that's why she's known today. It wasn't just for her art, it was for her revolutionary spirit. 